Hi, Chris. Hi, Mike. Today we're going to show how we easily program the ESP32 CAM that we bought from Banggood.com. It's featuring an ESP32S from AI Thinker. Yeah, and it comes with a 2 megapixel camera, a flash, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and a micro SD card reader. And best of all, it's a very affordable and compact, which makes it perfect for home surveillance. While going through the data sheet and hooking it up, we found a few important things to take note of. First of all, most of the data sheets are in Chinese, so thank God for Google Translate. But more importantly, in the data sheet for the ESP32S, it clearly states that it expects 3.3 volts on the RX and TX pins, although the board itself is powered with 5 volts. And it not only runs on 5 volts, but the data sheet also says it needs a minimum of 2 amps. That's more what you expect from a Raspberry Pi rather than an ESP module. Another kind of strange thing on the ESP32 CAM is the IO0 pin. Normally it would be best practice to pull this high, so that it don't accidentally enter boot mode. But on the ESP32 CAM, the IO0 is connected to the camera, so the data sheet wants it to be left floating. In our testing it has not been a problem. And the last important thing before we start programming is the antenna. Next to the IPEX connector, there's a zero ohm resistor. If you want to connect an external antenna for better range, you must move this resistor from position 1 over to position 2. Now let's hook it up and program it with the Arduino IDE. We are powering it on 5V and ground pins using the 5V. While testing, we did try running it at 3.3V pin, but in our case, the picture became very unstable and flickering. For programming, we are going to use a 3.3V FTDI to communicate with the ESP32. As mentioned earlier, the RX and TX pin are not 5V tolerant. We also need to connect ground of the FTDI to the ground on the ESP32. If you do not have a 3.3V programmer, you can connect a voltage divider or a logic lever shifter. To set the ESP32 in programming mode, we also need to connect IO0 to ground. The wiring should then look like this. We were able to program the ESP32 CAM directly with a 5V programmer, but since the datasheet specifies 3.3V, this can cause negative long-term effects. In the Arduino IDE, go to Preferences, open the Additional Boards Manager URLs window, add the ESP32 JSON URL to a blank line and click OK. Then open up Tools, Boards, Boards Manager. Search for ESP32. Select the ESP32 by Espressive Systems and click Install. Now, back in Tools and Boards, you have a lot of new ESP32 boards. Select the ESP32 Rover module. In Partition Scheme, select Huge App. Then, finally, select the port where you have connected your programmer. OK, we're now ready for the sketch. Open File, Examples, ESP32, Camera, and click on the camera web server. In this file, comment out the first camera module and uncomment the camera model AI thinker. Type in your Wi Fi SSID and your Wi Fi password. That's it. Upload the sketch to the board. Remove the connection between GPIO0 and ground and restart the ESP32 CAM. Open the serial monitor and when the board is connected to Wi-Fi, copy the IP address. Paste the address in your web browser. The first thing you want to do is scroll down to the bottom and click Start Stream. Then you are free to change all the settings as you like. Remember to like and share the video if you found it helpful. 
and we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.